Psalms chapter 36. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter 36, verse 5. Before I get into my scripture and my word of encouragement tonight, I want to share this story, true story I read in my personal study, in my devotional, and um, my private time. Back in 1989, an earthquake of a great magnitude had hit Armenia in the eastern country. And over 30,000 people were killed. 30,000. Everything destroyed, everything came down. And the story goes on to tell about one father who ran to his son's school only to come to find out that the school itself was leveled. It all came down. There was nothing but a mountain of rubble and debris and fire and explosions. And when he got there, his heart was broken. He paused. And that the words came to him with the very words that he told his son, no matter what happens, I will be there for you. As soon as he remembered that, his spirit brought that to remembrance, he said, the room he was in was at the right hand corner of the building. Without hesitation, he ran over the rubble, through the fire, through all the craziness, and got to the spot where his classroom support will once existed and started digging through the rubble, pulling brick, rebar, well, you name it, it was there, he was pulling it with his bare hands. Other parents started arriving and they were heartbroken also. But they have conceded defeat and started telling the man, Forget it. Forget it. Come on. You might get hurt here. The fire might get you. The explosion might kill you. Leave them be. They're dead. Face reality. And as he was digging, and the people trying to put him off, he stopped and looked at them. Won't you help me? And the parents stepped away with their feet and cried and their hearts broke. But the man was determined. He dug and dug. Soon after a while, the fire chief came. What you doing? Come on, man. You're going to die out here. You're not going to find nobody in there. And the man stopped one once again and said, won't you help me? And the chief walked away. And the man dug, dug in desperation. I had a word, I had a promise to my son. And he dug for eight hours. And before long, it was 12 hours. And he was on his knees again for another uh, 36 hours. And, and by the time he got to the point where he was about you know that point? Yeah. Have you been there before? Yes. That's a point that you get to that you're yeah. about. Yeah. Ooh. You don't want to hear this tonight. Uh, That's a point where you're working so hard, hands about to give out. Ooh. You're tired as hell, tired, <laughs> frustrated. You're emotionally bent out of shape. Don't know what to do. But he said, no, I made a promise. And then he went 38 hours digging. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Explosions everywhere, fire, you name it, everything was coming at him. Desperation took his heart. At the 40th hour, 
He got to a place deep down in the rubble. He pulled the boulder and he heard a voice. Auburn, is that you? Dad, it's me. I'm here. I knew you were coming. I knew you were going to save me. Thank you, Dad. I told my friends. Thirteen children was in the rubble with his boy. And the child told his friend, if my daddy is alive, he's coming for me. He's going to get us out of this. The man pulled that rubble and for some reason, somehow, he must have knew strength. Ha! Somehow, someway, 14 children were saved. He's bringing you out, no matter what you're facing. Say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo, your deliverance on his way. Say thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for your plans for my life. Thank you, Father God, for delivering me from all the circumstances, all the issues, all the other issues, all the Ishmael's, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for forgiving me of my sins, Father God, of my attitude, of my double mindedness. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me of my weaknesses. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace, Father God. Thank you, Father God, that everything my burn on my left and everything my flood on my right, Father God. But you, Father God, will lift the standard, Father God, and you will bring me up out of this earth, out of this kingdom out of this situation, out of this struggle, out of this circumstance. You will bring me out of this lack, out of this hurt, this pain, this conflict. I thank you, Father God, you will heal me from this disease. I thank you, Father God, you set my mind straight, my heart straight, my spirit straight. I thank you, Lord, that you help my whole house serve you, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for your grace, for your promises, and Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen.